So let's try a couple of simple variations of LED toggle program. Recall that the LED was toggled whenever the switch was pressed to release. Our first variation is going to blink the LED when the switch is pressed. When it is released, we're going to freeze it off. The second variation is going to blink the LED a maximum of four times when the switch is pressed. Then when it's released, it's going to freeze it off. So here's the modifications that we've made. Uh, this initial state here, waiting for press, has not changed. When it's pressed, we're going to go to state wait for release. Once we're in this state, uh, while it's pressed, this is going to be the code that's going to be executed when it's released. This is the code that's going to be executed, the else clause, when it's pressed. While it's pressed, we're going to be blinking. We'll delay 100 milliseconds, toggle the LED. Recall that we're continually going through this, sampling the switch. Uh, once the switch is released and this becomes true, we're then going to execute this code right here. We're going to freeze it off, change our state to wait for press, and the next time through the loop, we'll be executing this code here. So let's see this code in action. Um, here I've powered on my PIC24. I've programmed this PIC24 with LED toggle underscore blink dot C, which is this variation number one. I'm currently waiting for a press. By the way, this is the heartbeat LED. Uh, that's being blinked because of the fact that we've included this new heartbeat call to time. Recall that we're continually looping through this loop. Um, to be clear, the new heartbeat does not, this loop is being done about every 15 milliseconds, recall, but the heartbeat LED is not being blinked that fast. The heartbeat code has its own internal counter that's blinking at a rate that's going to be human visible. So let's go ahead and go here and let's go ahead and press the button. So when I press uh, my push button, what should happen is my LED should blink as long as I have it um, pressed. So well, as I have it pressed, I'm going through this loop. I'm, uh, the switch is not released, so it's pressed. I'm executing this code right here and toggling, toggling it every time through the loop. Now I'm going to release the switch, uh, which I do. LED is going to freeze off, and I'm back in my original state of state wait for press. So let's try the second variation in which we want to blink the LED a maximum of four times while pressed. So I've had to declare a counter here, a local variable called U8 count that I'm going to initialize to zero before I enter my loop. And now I've modified this code here, which simply used to just toggle the LED. I'm saying if my count is less than four, let's delay, toggle the LED, and then let's increment our count variable. This code is actually not correct. We'll see that in a second, but it could be what a common mistake you might make when trying to implement this type of functionality. So let's see this code in action. By the way, I've lengthened this blink time here so we can count the number of times it blinks more easily. So here I have my uh, PIC24 program with this new program called blinkCount.c that implements the code that that we just saw. So here I'm going to go ahead and, and reach around here and I'm going to press the switch. One, two, wait a minute. When I pressed it only blinked twice. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, release the button. Now I'm back here at state wait for press. So let's let's try that again. Now I'm going to go ahead and go here and press. Now wait a minute. Now when I press the LED is not blinking at all. Hmm. So there's two problems. One, it only blinked twice the first time, and then when I tried it again, it didn't blink at all. Let's look at the code and see if we can decide what's going on here. So the first problem we had was that it only blinked twice when we pressed the button. Hmm, we, we wanted to blink four times, and we said four here as we were comparing against four. Oh, but when I toggle the LED, that's going to turn off a complete Blink is both an off and an on. So I'm going to need to change this. I'll need to change this to a value of 8 instead of 4 if I actually want to blink 4 times. 2 toggles equals 1 blink. The other problem was, was that it blinked the first time I pressed and released, but the second time when I pressed it didn't blink at all. So what's going on there? Well, if we take a look at our counter, we're initializing it up here, but we're, when we enter this loop, once this, once this test becomes false, it becomes, you know, greater or equal than whatever this value is, you know, we never initialize it back to zero. We're going to want to initialize that variable right here in this code before we enter this state. So we're going to need to move this uh, variable initialization to here so that when the switch is pressed and we go here, we, we set our count back to zero. 
So here I've made the necessary modifications. I've moved my initialization to count variable here so that when it's pressed, before I enter the state in which I'm going to actually use this variable, I'm going to initialize it to zero. And now in here, I'm comparing it against eight because two toggles is going to equal one blink. So I'm, if I want four blinks, I'm going to need this count to be eight since this is actually counting toggles and not blinks. So let's test this code out. Here I've reprogrammed my PIC24 with the modify code. I've powered it on and I'm now sitting here uh, waiting for a press. So I'm going to go ahead and press this button. So let's watch this carefully. I'm pressing one, two, three, four blinks. Now it's, I've reached my maximum count so I'm no longer blinking. Uh, at this point I'm going to do a release. Um, I'm now back in my state, wait for press. Let's see if this behavior is repeatable. So let's do this again. I'm going to reach in and I'm going to press one, two, three, four. And now I'm going to re release. And it looks like that my code fixes have now resulted in correct behavior. Let's take a look at a somewhat more complex example. What we're going to do is we're going to have the same switch and LED setup as we had before. We're going to add another input here, RB12. This input is either going to be 0 or 1. This diagram shows a slide switch, but in lab, the way that we're going to do this is simply we're going to either connect this thing to ground or connect it to VDD uh, and just leave it that way as we test the code. Let's take a look at the task to be accomplished as described by this ASM chart. First of all, we're going to have LED1 off. Uh, then we're going to wait for a complete press and release of switch 1. And we're going to implement this using two states. I'm only showing one state in this diagram, but it's going to end up taking two states. Once we have a press and release of switch 1, we're going to turn the LED on. We're going to wait for another complete press and release of the switch. And then we're going to make a decision. If the switch input 2, which is, is tied to a 0, then we're going to go back up here and do this again. If it's a 1, then as long as the switch is released, we're going to have the LED blink. Uh, whenever the switch is pressed, we're going to simply freeze the LED 1 on. And as long as it's pressed, we're going to keep it on. When it's released, we're then going to transition back up to the state here and turn it back off. So in terms of the number of states we need to implement this, we need one, two, three, four, five, six states. To declare these states, we'll do it in the same way as before. We've declared a type, an enumerated type called state. Here's our states with meaningful uh, state names. Remember, this state reset is used for debugging purposes. Uh, here's our configuration code. It's the same as before, except now we're simply configuring um, a new switch. I'm not showing the macro code for this for this switch, but it's very similar to switch one. Let's first trace the code path uh, that's going to be this direction with switch 1 assuming it's a 0 back up to here. First thing to do is this is our initial state. We're going to have the LED 1 off. Uh, we're looping through here periodically checking the switch. When it's pressed, we're then going to go to the, to the release to the release state. Um, here's the release state. Uh, we're, we're still looping now. Uh, sampling the switch. When it's released, we're going to change state to our press. At that point, we're going to be in this state here, uh, in which we're going to turn the LED1 on. Uh, at that point, we're now going to wait for another press and release. Once we get the second release here, uh, at this point, we're going to be at the decision point here, and we're going to check the switch. If it's a 1, we're going to go to state blink. If it's a 0, that's the else part, we're going to go ahead and go back up to state press uh, one, which is back up here, and we're going to turn the LED back off. Here, let's see this code in action. Here I have my LED, my PIC24 program with the code LED switch 1.c, which is in your chapter 8 directory. Um, this, the this input right here, switch two, what I have is I have it tied to ground. That's this green wire right here. This rail right here is tied to ground. So we're going to be ex exercising this path right here through this finite state machine when we exercise this code. This is my push button switch. This is my LED that's going to turn off and on. So let's go ahead and exercise this. Currently I'm waiting for a press. So I'm going to go ahead and bring my finger over here. I'm going to press it, which I just did. Now I'm waiting for release. When I remove my finger, the LED should turn on, which it just did. So now I'm sitting here, wait, I'm in this state right here waiting for a press. So I, I'm, I'm sitting um, right here waiting for this press right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and press that button again, which I just did. Now we've gone to wait for release 2. 
Um, so we're now waiting for the release. The LED is still on, so I'm going to do that. Now what's going to happen is when I release this, uh, it's going to see that switch uh, 2 is a 0, and it's going to go back up here uh, to LED 1 and turn it off. So let's do that. Let me, let's go back here, show the code, show the video. I released it. My switch is turned off. And now at this point, I'm back at my initial state here of uh, state wait for press 1, which was where I started up there. Now let's exercise the path of where the switch 1 state is set, uh, the switch 2 is set to a 1, and we'll go all the way down here and back up to the top. What I've done here on this board is I removed the wire that was strapping uh, this pin to ground. That means it's now open, but the internal pull-up is enabled, so this pin is going to read as a 1. Let's go ahead and exercise this code. I've powered on my PIC24. I'm now in my initial state. I'm waiting for a press and release. My LED is off, so let's do that. So I'm going to go ahead and press and then release. My LED is on. That means I'm in this state right uh, here. I'm waiting for another press, so let's do that. So let me press it. Now when I press, what's going to happen is I'm going to be in this state, wait for release to. This, recall that now the status of the switch is a 1 because we disconnected that ground, disconnected that wire strapping this input to ground, so the pull-up resistor is bringing it high, so it's reading as a 1. When I, so if it's a 1, when I release it, it's then going to go to state blink, and it's going to get hung up uh, in this state here, blinking the LED, waiting for another press. So let's do that. So I released it. Now my LED is blinking. I'm waiting for another press. Now what's going to happen when I press? Uh, when I press, what's going to happen is I'm going to move to this state where I'm going to freeze the LED on and I'm going to remain in that state until the switch is released. So let's do that. So I'm going to go ahead and press. My LED is on. When I release it, what's going to happen is I'm going to change my state to wait for press 1 and I'm going to go back up here and turn the LED 1 off and get hung up waiting in this state for our pr another press. So let's do that. So I'm going to release, LED turns off and I'm back in my initial state wait for press 1. 